it really is an escape for me. And that's what I really love about fashion. It's, you can have any idea that you want, and you know what? It's doable. It's possible. I think with fashion, anything is possible. Jenny! Sanity. I love it. I love it. As of right now, it is pretty much my life, <laughs> um, but it's not really a bad thing. Um, you know, people have their day jobs. You know, you do your nine to five or whatever, and then after that, you can either, you know, have some kind of outlet for your creativity, or you can just go around at home. And I don't think I could do that, so. You know, some people think I'm like working all the time, but it's not, I don't really think it's work. I I should take it, okay, I've taken it back. Okay, so continue the pleat, we close the pleat a little bit more here. The, the theme of the, of the collection is about Paris and France, and I want her to, to capture that look. A little bit more French, maybe short hair, full lips kind of thing. But the well, process to find good girls. I mean, uh, did you okay. really especially did you in like, LA? You know, if you're in New York, yeah. Did you like Erin? Because I think she's it's okay. I mean, uh, this girl with the little bobs. The little yeah, yeah. Those are yes. Think, oh, good. Those good. are yes. I adore Erin. Yeah, yeah. So I, I, I know you liked her. But she I follow her. that uh, the theme of the collection, and I pick the girls accordingly. I'm gonna start walking from here down and back, please. I mean, if, if the, the, the wrong girl is wearing the wrong outfit, she can kill it. Kill it! <laughs> <laughs> I want to make sure it fits her perfectly, like a glove. It's so important for me, the fit of the garment. If it doesn't fit well, no matter who wears it, it will look terrible. So yeah, the fit has to be perfect. Okay, let's try the floral one. Maybe the floral would look better. I want to, I want to make sure they all look their best in the yeah. other wearing, so we keep trying to look at it. I personally feel that it's been in me since a very young age and I, I used to sketch as a young girl. Uh, my parents would um, give me uh, the Sears book to, uh, to look through the, the, the catalog uh, so I can fall asleep. So I think ever since uh, that time, you know, two years old, it's all been in, inside of me and, and it just uh, came out uh, as I got older I felt that I wanted to pursue it more as a career. I really started when I was eight years old designing for Barbie. <laughs> it's insanity basically the clothes, the collection from sketches to fabric shopping. Well, actually, this one though. Well, and the collection has to be coherent, so I have to think about how it will flow during the show. Yeah. Yeah. This one in there. Yeah. It's so still so friendly. I have to show. Yeah, it. Your whole collection is so friendly. You know, but I really love this one. I'm a We're talking about like the floor of your show. I know, please, I haven't slept in weeks. And so just making it look and make sense on stage is what I'm saying. But it's what the buyers want to see. Well, buyers want to see everything that you have here. What about that? Well, you have a, a couple of more pieces to play with. When the other things get here, which we haven't seen, then we're going to just make the decision as to whether... It is really hard because I get attached to my pieces. And then I look to my producer and my agents to really guide and suggest what I should and shouldn't um, show. And after a little arg you know, a little arguments, a little of this, a little of that, I usually listen to them. I would go shopping, just like you know, window shopping, every week, just to see kind of what's out there, um, you know, what people have not been doing, and that's really what I enjoy. First, I really look at the shapes, and next, how it falls on the body. Before, I also look for like construction details, 
um, interesting materials they're using. Usually when I go to the fabric store, I am looking for something specific. Um, like the other I kind of to go in there and just look around. Because I'll just end up buying a bunch of fabric that I'm not going to use. Um, for me, my passion is really, you know, the next new thing. Um, I'm always, you know, shopping with magazines, on the internet, um, watching things, just kind of um, keep my eyes open. I think it's important. You always have to keep your eyes open. Okay, here's a sleeve. So the thing is, you probably realize I don't have a dress form. <laughs> Um, so I do everything with flat patterns and I guess in a way it's a little bit harder because you can't see it on the body. So all these measurements here, because it's a knit fabric um, and obviously I don't have a dress form and my friend didn't have time for fits. So I just took her basic measurements, her bust, her waist, her hip and I kind of just built it around there. How I usually start everything, just like a very, very rough sketch. Um, Okay, just be careful when you're taking this off. Okay. Okay, turn around. If you don't show, you know, with, with the, all the competition that's out there, it's easy to, to people not to, uh, to forget about what you're doing. And, and I have a followers that they always want to see what I'm doing. And yeah. You need Sarah out here. You, you're ready for it, but you're hoping everything is going to... Yeah, be smooth and everybody will do their part. It's a teamwork. Can you ever have the side? Fashion show is a teamwork. The, the production manager has to, you know, to do her job well. The, the, the models have to you know, walk and, and carry the clothes well. And, and I just make sure that the team that I have, they're professional. You try to make the best of it. I mean, I had a problem last show. The, the gown uh, that uh, was supposed to be uh, the, 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 the zipper bust, bust the zipper opened, and, and we, we were trying to sew it last second and we couldn't do it. Donna Jenna! She ended up coming on stage behind me, but you know, her her dress was open on the side where we, you know, people didn't notice it, but, you know, things happen. So, yeah, you, you can't, you know, I get upset about certain things, but, you know, then I have to, you know, just be happy with the outcome, whatever it is, you know. <laughs> I've had great review this season, and I'm so pleased with it. It just gives me more uh, encouragement and gives me the confidence to continue with what I'm doing. I worked really hard in this collection. In terms of obstacles, anything and everything, you name it. My children felt like they were not getting enough of my time. Um, financially, it's a huge investment. I know I'm not much of a partner person, but this is so important to me. It's, it's really who I am, so I put everything on the line for this, and I figured if I can't do it, then I think I'll just wither away and die. Michelle's on her way back. Michelle is on her way back. LA Fashion Week uh, is, is very important. It becomes bigger and bigger. I am one of the almost unique designers over here because I am on on, on magazine and uh, and whatever on television. So that is very important uh, to doing uh, Mercedes Fashion Week because it's, uh, it's the, the event of uh, Los Angeles. You know? How are you guys? LRD is based on, on tattoo, the tattoo art, so you, you're always going to see a, a, a tattoo art on a t-shirt. And uh, it's a product, uh, it's not even a product now, it's a lifestyle. Everybody wants to be a part of it. 
I have basically everybody wearing my clothes, um, Britney Spears to Madonna to Kanye West or Puff Daddy. Uh, uh, and why they are wearing my clothes? Because they love my clothes. Everybody wearing je jeans, everybody wearing a t-shirt, and everybody the weekend going on Starbucks with a trucker hat of my brand. What I'm doing is, uh, I'm gonna call that street couture. Street couture means the, the, the people uh, are starting to grow up and liking fashion. You cannot invest uh, a lot of money in those different uh, big designers. I believe what drives me to be successful is my focus, uh, my dream. And uh, without a dream again, you cannot access to the success. So uh, keep uh, dreaming, you know. Well, as far as making it in LA, I think that a lot of it hinges on celebrities. You know, even if you have a t-shirt company, if you can, you know, get a t-shirt on Paris Hilton and have a paparazzi photograph of her show up, um, that's, you know, can really start your business. I mean, LA Fashion Week is definitely not on par with, uh, you know, the other major fashion weeks in the world um, because it doesn't attract the same number of editors and um, very few buyers, if any, come to the shows in Los Angeles. You have to go to New York to um, to really kind of get that, that sort of validation. My personal opinion is that somebody somewhere will, will always look down on somebody else. For example, I have a lot of friends who live in France. So they think that even the celebrities who are on the red carpet in um, LA are just ridiculous to make fun of them and have no taste. And the dresses that those French designers create for them, from what I am told, are not what they would show to their own um, European market. I think that it's an amazing show and it doesn't matter if it's New York or LA or Milan or Paris. And I'm just glad to, to be part of it. Since I live in LA, I, I wanted to be part of the LA Fashion Week. There's a lot of talents in LA, it just needs to be um, discovered. <laughs> Honestly, I don't really think of LA as such like an innovative fashion kind of mecca, um, which is very disappointing. So I never really look at LA as an inspiration. A lot of us from other countries and our parents from other countries, we try so hard to blend in. And the LA culture is, you know, jeans and t-shirts, and that's what sells. And obviously people want to make money. So I think that's why, um, because people in LA aren't buying all those, you know, high-end things, and they're not looking for really tailored pieces. It's not part of their culture. Whereas in Europe, you know, fashion is part of their culture, and it's part of their history. But I think in LA, it's, it's just not how, it's not part of our lifestyle. You know, if your stuff sells, great. Um, but it's not inspiring. Yeah, I think that's why I'm saying that most of my things I'm working on are not very commercial. Because, you know, we already have, I feel like we already have enough of that. And all those more on the things where people are thinking out of the box, that is what inspired me to do fashion in the first place. And that's what's continuing to inspire me. Anything that you can you think of, you can do it. Um, and I think that's a really inspiring thing because there's no one to tell you that that's impossible because it is possible.